Sister Elahia, Salesian sister. And today is the 7th of January. Yesterday is the Feast of the Epiphany, but today the Mass is of the Epiphany. So, and it's Epiphany's 12th night. So it's the end of the Christmas festivities, but not really the end of the whole Christmas season. In some churches, they'll keep the, the crib until the 2nd of February, the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. So it's a long season, really. But today, as we, with the, the, the kings here, representing all the nations of the world, coming to adore the, the newborn king, Emmanuel, God with us, the child Jesus. There are lots of feasts immediately following Christmas. 25th is Christmas Day, 26th is St. Stephen, the first martyr, 27th is St. John, the writer of the gospel, the great friend of Jesus, who outlived the other apostles. 28th, the Holy Innocents, um, and so it goes on, a number of feasts. But there's one little feast that probably you've never heard of. On the 3rd of January, we have the Feast of the Holy Name of Jesus. And I would just like to concentrate on that. I have heard it on, on programs and on television. That Holy Name being used irreverently. And I'd, I would I'd just switch off. I wouldn't listen to it. A program like that. The second commandment is, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Using the holy name or using the name of God irreverently. Now, thanks be to God, we don't often hear the holy name of Jesus used badly, used irreverently. But we do hear God used irreverently, thoughtlessly. Oh my God. Mm. When we hear that, let's say, may he be praised. Turn it into a prayer. When you hear it, and you know, even little children, this because they, they say what they hear. They, they, they hear it maybe at home, they hear it in the street, they hear it wherever. Even OMG, um. It's not, it's not to be taken like that. God Almighty. You know, we can't even breathe without God. We're totally dependent. He has to come first in our life. So maybe that could be a resolution. When we hear the name of the Lord taken lightly, thoughtlessly. Turn it into a prayer. Turn it into a prayer and pray for that person. And if you know the person well enough, you could maybe, maybe help that person to understand that we do not take the name of God lightly. We use God. The Lord has to be first in our life, the Lord God Almighty. Amen. And God bless each and every one of you in this new year.